Scheduling your Instagram content is such an underrated tactic for staying consistent on Instagram, which I believe is one of the key things that will lead to success on Instagram. Today, I'm gonna to share not one, but two ways that you can schedule your posts on Instagram for free. First, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Kirsty Lang. I'm a senior content writer at Buffa and I'm a creator. This video is part of our Social Media 101 series where we share all the things you need to know to achieve social media success on pretty much all major platforms from TikTok to Instagram to Mastodon. If that sounds like it's up your alley, you know what to do. All right, let's jump in. I have got an Instagram reel ready and waiting to go and I am gonna show you two ways that you can schedule it using Instagram, so scheduling natively, and using Buffer. So option one involves scheduling directly within the Instagram app. If you didn't know you could do that, surprise, you can. This method is great and it's simple, but it does come with some drawbacks. So if Instagram or Facebook is your primary platform and you're only interested in scheduling posts, not Instagram stories, this method could work fine for you. My second method is scheduling Instagram posts on Buffer, which is obviously my preferred route. I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> number one is that you can schedule Instagram stories as well as posts. Number two is that you could cross post to pretty much any other major social media platform. So if you're focused on say TikTok or YouTube Shorts or LinkedIn, pretty much any other platform, you can cross post whatever you're sharing on Instagram there simultaneously with a couple of clicks. It's magic, it's such a Time saver. Number three is kind of cool. It is the ability to schedule a first comment on your Instagram post. So this will post a comment from you on your brand new post at exactly the same time that the post goes live. This is incredibly useful if say you have a long caption and you wanna include a little bit more text in the comment or you wanna pose a question to your audience to spark engagement in the comments. There are a whole bunch of really interesting use cases for this. And then number four is post notifications, which I think is my favorite benefit on this list. So with this feature, you can line up pretty much your entire post, get your content uploaded, get your caption ready to go, first comment if you want, and then instead of auto publishing, you will get a notification on your phone when the time comes to post. When you tap on that notification, your post will automatically open in the Instagram Composer and you can easily copy over the caption that you saved in Buffer. And this is the best part, you can add in all the other bells and whistles that you want on your post or story within the Instagram app. So that means music, trending sounds, stickers, location, collab posts, whatever you wanna add, you can do it within Instagram. And it will still only take you like a minute to do all of this within the app. So you're still getting your post out at the right time. So whichever of these routes works best for you, click on the chapter markers below to jump straight to that section and I will walk you through how to do it. Let's get into it. Number one is scheduling directly on Instagram. Before we start, you need to have a professional Instagram account in order to use this feature. So that means you need to have a business account or a creator account. It's super easy to do. I'm gonna walk you through how to switch yours. So start on your Instagram profile, then tap the settings menu. That's three lines on the top right then scroll all the way down until you see account type and tools from there you hit switch to a professional account and then you'll have to tap 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 and read through all the information that they give you about what a professional account entails select a category for your account and then choose whether you want a creator account or a business account and then you have got two more messages to read through and after that you are ready to go and convert it either to a business account or a creator account right now that that is sorted we are going to start scheduling within the instagram app to do so you're going to start a new post just as you would with a regular post as if you were going to publish it right away so you tap the little plus icon right at the bottom in the middle of the screen from there you will find yourself in the standard post creator window in Instagram. So I have got a reel about AI image generators that I wanna get scheduled. So I've selected that from my camera roll. And as you would normally do, you're gonna put in your caption. Don't forget your hashtags. That looks good to go. And then you are gonna scroll all the way down to more options. Tap on that and you'll see there's a little toggle that you can turn on to schedule your post. You can choose the time that you want for the post to go live in five minute increments. And once you've chosen that, you are good to go. You can go ahead and hit the schedule button. Your post will upload and you'll get a little pop-up when your reel is ready and scheduled. If you'd like to make changes, you can tap back into that hamburger menu that I told you about before, the settings menu, scroll down to schedule content, you'll find it there, and then you need to tap on the three little dots right at the top of the screen to make any changes. Right, let's get into option two. So that is scheduling your Instagram posts or stories with Buffer. 
To do this, you will need to sign up for a free Buffer account. The link is right at the top of the caption below. So you can just click on that and get started right away. Buffer is completely free to use for up to three social media channels. Once you're all set up, you need to connect your Instagram account. This is also very easy to do. As a new user, so if you've just signed up, you'll be prompted to connect a channel straight away. You can also head over to the publish tab, then choose plus new channel, this little button on the bottom left, and then follow the prompts. It'll take you less than a minute to do. Once you are all set up, we are going to start a new post. Now I am going to show you how to do this in Buffer in your browser. So on buffer.com, publish.buffer.com. I do also want to add that you can do pretty much everything that I'm showing you now within the Buffer app. If you're not into using your computer for scheduling content, that's totally fine. I'm going to walk you through that process right after this. So click on the chapter link if you want to fast forward to that section. Alrighty, once you are all set up in Buffer, you are going to create a new post. There are a bunch of different ways to do that. You can click in a slot in your calendar. You can click on the new button. You can click on new posts within the list, but I'm going to use this new button right at the top because it is available everywhere in the Buffer web app. So let's click on that and then you're going to hit post. You can choose to post to any number of channels that you want, any number that you have connected to Buffer. There are even more channels that you can connect than the ones that I have listed here, but just for argument's sake today, we're going to choose Instagram. All right. So I have got a reel that I want to post. So I'm going to click that button. As you can see, you've got story here, which is not something that you can do natively within the Instagram app right now. And let me, I'm going to upload a reel. So what I want to do is upload my media first. I have got it ready and waiting for me in that folder. While it's uploading, let's get the caption all set up. I had it copied to my clipboard because I don't want to waste time writing a caption. All right. So this is all looking good. There it is. If you are posting a reel, you can also choose to go and edit your thumbnail from another point in the video, which is pretty neat. I'm very happy with that one. And here is where you will add that first comment that will be published exactly when your post is published, as I mentioned right at the outset of this video. Now, I mentioned that you will have two options when it comes to publishing your Instagram posts. So you have the automatic option, which will obviously publish the post at your chosen time. If you are happy with that, you can click the add to queue button or you can choose schedule post to publish it at a specific time. And voila, you were done. The post will appear in your calendar and will publish automatically at your chosen time. But I'm gonna show you how the notification option works because it's really cool and I love it. You're gonna choose notify me. And from there, you can click on all of these handy buttons to leave yourself a note about the things that you wanna do in the app when you get the notification. So if there is a specific song you'd like to use or a specific text that you want, this works great for stories, um, all sorts of things. You can add them here. And then once again, you can click add to queue to add to the next available slot in your queue, or you can schedule the post. I am going to schedule this one for tomorrow at let's go with 6 PM because I know from my buffer data that this is a good time to post for me and for my audience. All right. The post has been scheduled. There it is. All ready and waiting to go. You'll be able to see it in the calendar as well. Ta -da! And if you want to make changes here, you just need to click on this little edit button and you'll be taken back into the post composer to do whatever you need to do. That goes for posts that are going to be published automatically and not via notify me as well. When it's time to post, you will get a cute little notification on your phone screen. And if you have one on your smartwatch, just like this one. Now the Buffer app is such a handy companion. You can do all sorts of things on there and it's incredibly handy for saving ideas or scheduling posts on the go. Here's how you do it. So here's that notification I mentioned. You'll tap on that, which will open your post in the Buffer app. Tap open in Instagram and that is exactly what will happen. You'll be taken straight into the Instagram composer with your post, video or story preloaded. Now, this is where you can do all those fun things that the Instagram algorithm seems to love, like adding text or stickers or my personal favorite, trending sounds. And when you're happy with where your content is at, you just switch back to the Buffer app to quickly copy your caption just by tapping on the little copy icon here. No need to highlight or do anything fiddly. You can do this automatically by tapping this button. Now, head back to Instagram, paste your caption and check you're happy with everything. Now, when you are done, hit share. And that's it. It only took me about a minute to put those finishing touches on the post. 
And as a reminder that you do also have the option to auto publish the post via Buffer as well if you don't want to add any last touches in the Instagram app. Now, I did also mention that you can schedule Instagram posts within the Buffer app, so no need to use the web version of Buffer if you don't want to. Here is a look at that process. From within the app, you will choose Instagram from your channels list. Then hit the create button and choose what kind of content you want to schedule. You'll notice this composer looks a lot like the version of Buffer in your browser where you can add your caption in the main window. You'll click attach to upload your photos or videos. Then just like in the web version of Buffer, you can choose to auto publish the post or choose notify me to go with the process that I outlined earlier in this video to get a notification on your phone when it is time to publish. Then when you tap next, you'll be able to add the post to your queue, schedule for a specific time, or even save as a draft if you want to come back to it later. Let's choose a time to get this uploaded. And when you are done, the post will be added to your calendar. And that, my friends, is exactly how to schedule a post on Instagram. If you have any questions, please do pop them below. I'm sure I will be able to help. If you found this content helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, I would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. We have loads more content just like this coming your way soon.